Not impressed by the Love Struck expansion pack leaks and looking for free ways to add romance to your Sims 4 game now? If you are currently a Mac or PC Sims player, here are eight romance mods that you need in your game. Starting off with Little Miss Sam, her first love mod. So this adds crushes and first love to children age Sims, which is actually a really cute touch. The new expansion pack is only going to be geared to romance for teens and up, specifically mostly young adults and up. So this is a way to give children a chance to have love and, and crushes. Um, also by Little Miss Sam is Simda Dating App. It's a dating app that, bl that brings blind dates, one night stands, and specific dates to your game. Uh, the next two mods are from Maple Bells. So Maple Bells More Kisses mod, which adds amorous, steamy, and shy kisses, along with a hug and surprise kiss to your game. And Maple Bells Love Triangle mod, which is a adds the polyamorous nature to The Sims 4 if you're looking for that. Um, the next mod is the Cute Romance mod. So this is a dual project with by the Pancake One and Mizuri Yuki. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing those names. Um, it adds slow dancing, dip kiss, intense kiss, bed makeout, cuddle from behind, and table proposal to your game. Um, Wicked Whims, <laughs> if you know, you know. Not going to say any more on that. Katie Mods, the one with all the romance, which adds different conversation types between partners. So Sims can have conversation like more pickup lines, new things to argue about, new topics to discuss about the relationship, and different reasons to break up than what's currently offered in-game. And finally, Lumpy Nose Road to Romance mod, which adds both the romance and the cheating skill, a basic form of online dating, couples and singles counseling. Let me know in the comments below if you've used any of these mods or recommend any additional romance mods that can be played in game currently for those of us who don't want to wait until the expansion pack comes out on July 25th.